Hey guys, today on A12 we're going back into Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity and guys welcome back to another Warrior Wednesday and another Heroes of Hyrule episode. So anyway guys, today we're going to be going in and checking out our next mission. So let's see here, let's continue into our game and let's see which mission is ready for us. Alright, so right here we got the mission known as Hyrule Castle. So it seems like we can only choose one character, so we have to choose wisely. So recommend the level is 38, but um, I'm pretty sure we could do it with um, our characters. So let's just see, so... So let's see if we can merge any more weapons, no. Okay, so... Let's see, is there any more health? things that we can get so plus two bonus hearts extra combo and stuff so I'm not sure exactly what character so Link is 33 the princess is also 33 but she has more health uh, versus Link only has so she has two extra hearts versus Link only has is versus Link has less but um let's see Link's sword is 59 the princess's Chica slate thing is 35 but um I'm pretty sure we should be able to do this because now that we got all these rune combinations we're pretty much good to go so I'm pretty sure we're gonna go with the princess for this mission and our previous mission Ooh, what's this okay so the trial of the mighty foe okay so we need more stuff so we need ethereal stone we need stone talius trophy hynix trophy and lineal trophy so we need a few more materials for that so we'll go check we'll check that out later but anyway let's get ready and let's do this mission so i'm pretty sure we're going to be going with the princess so it seems like only three characters can come here so um one of these three so we can choose link impa or zelda so i'm pretty sure we're going to be going with zelda all right so let's go onward to our mission here All of the countermeasures to Calamity Ganon were in place, except one. The princess had not yet awakened her sealing power. In hopes of preventing her kingdom's destruction, Zelda resolved to train at the Spring of Wisdom. Souls younger than 17 years were forbidden from setting foot on Mount Leneru, where the Spring of Wisdom lay as they lacked the spring's namesake. Zelda made plans to ascend as soon as she was of age. Knowing that this would be the day of Calamity Ganon's revival, King Rome urged his people to evacuate. He deployed the four divine beasts to quell the horrors of the Calamity until Zelda returned. All right, guys. So this seems like it's gonna be pretty a uh, pretty crazy mission, but guys, let's get ready and let's go. So I wonder what this mission is gonna have. But it's located in Hyrule Castle, so I'm pretty sure something related to the calamity might be happening in this one. So let's get in and let's check it out. <laughs> Excellent. I finally finished my painstaking analysis! Oh yeah! Yeah, yeah, we're all very impressed. Now, what did you find? <gasps> Do you see? Stop right there. I was too careless. This is bad. Go! Stop that thing!
So many are awaiting my inner power, believing in me. This is my last chance. Princess, it'll all work out. Everything will just align at the Spring of Wisdom. Time to head out. Farewell, Father. Wait. Something must have happened. It cannot be. is here? Well then, we seem to have been taken by surprise. This is bad. Extremely bad. If the Calamity was able to overtake Hyrule Castle... Okay guys, so this seems to be our mission and it seems like Calamity Ganon is here. So, let's rush through this castle using all of our new moves. And so we do have some pretty good combos. So let's just run out of here. I wonder where our, where our objective is. And we already nearly have enough to use our special. So we need to go to Sanctrum. So let's go there now without any delay. Alright, there we go. So what we need to do is we need to use Y, Y, O, X. That's bomb. So that means Y, X, X for the other thing. Oh no, it's a guardian. Oh no. I don't think I've ever defeated the guardian before. Alright, so we need to run. Now let's just run before that thing comes. Okay, now let's escape here. So, oh no, there's another guardian. Let's go. Now that we got in that, we need to we need to run before we lose any more health because maybe there's more maybe the guardians we have to defeat. So let's go quickly and let's go defeat whatever we have. So oh no, it's a guardian. It's a guardian, isn't it? So let's stasis it and let's use that special move. Not that one though. But, um, it is kind of hard to remember all the combinations for it to defeat the Guardian. Okay, so we do have to beat the Guardian. So let's not waste our special attack unless we really need to. It's so now Y, X, X, and then that should destroy his weak point meter. Yup. Alright, nice. And the stasis also deals damage. So, let's wait until it does that jump attack. Boom, okay, nice. Now we can do that rune thing. Okay, so now that we got in the weak points match. Bingo, okay, nice. So we didn't even lose that much health on this guardian. Oh no. Two more guardians. This is definitely gonna be harder. Guardians have appeared. Um, okay, so I'm gonna stay up here for a second. It seems that when they both do that move, 
So it seems like they're synced, so you could probably stasis both of them and aim for the middle and then it'll defeat both. Not really, so. We just hide from these guys until they decide to do the jump attack. Which seems like it's not gonna be long and we Oh no, we can't escape their beam. Whoa, okay, good thing we found a secret area that we can dodge the guardians from. Whoa, okay, so we need to go to that area again. Whoa, okay. So it seems like it doesn't deal damage in this area. But this seems to be pretty hard, so I think we're gonna need our our special attack here. So that did blast the guardian, but the thing is that I'm not really sure if it did too good of a job. So we need to still defeat these guardians manually. Alright. Now let's just weak point smash this thing. And so we nearly lost our entire health bar. So we only got one guardian left and it's down to one and it's down to its last leg. So um, I think we just gotta break the legs on the guardians and uh, we'll be able to defeat them. Whoa, okay. So you just gotta go in these like safe areas over here. And then it seems like you can easily defeat these guys. Alright, so the stasis itself does a pretty good job on these guardians. But the but um weak point smash has the most power. Ooh, okay, so we did get another agent power boost thing. The thing is that um we should definitely um Okay, so this seems like the Sanctum place here. And so the hidden passage is where? Okay, right over here. Open. Ooh, so that's cool. Alright, so now we are in some other place. So where are we? Ooh, a Korok. Korok thing. Alright, nice. Uh, let's take that. Let's break these. We need uh, as many apples as we possibly can. Oh, so Impa and Link are both following me. That's good. So, um, let's go up here. And let's just get as many boxes as we can so that we can have as much health regen. So, um, we just break those and remember guys some of these boxes aren't actually real they're just like a picture all right so first let's break all these boxes even though they're right next to the guardians we'll just go right past them and so we need to escape the castle oh no guardian the guardian. I want to do a flurry rush on this guy, but I don't think you can really do flurry rushes on guardians. Whoa. Okay, so we do need to figure out how to flurry rush this guy. Well, for now, we'll just keep doing our standard attacks on him. Thing is that the guardians are fast and strong. Aha, uh -huh. so So the move so dodge B and then we can uh, guard using Z L. So um I'm pretty sure we could somehow like back off to the Guardian quickly some sort of way and then we can defeat it. I think it's here we don't really have any safe areas. So the guardian might attack us and I think the beams can go through those pillars. The thing is that one good thing about the princess is that her wounds charge up fast. 
Okay, so it can still see. It seems like it can still track us through that pillar. Nope. Okay, so it can't track us through the pillar, but it can't. But it can't harm us. So I think you just gotta do the same process that I'm doing to the guardians to defeat them easy. Since um, I don't think there's a way to flurry rush these guys. All right, so now we got that. Oh no, it's another guardian. Defeat the guardian solution. Ooh. Wow, okay, that's a pretty good one. So it seems like if you use Magnesis on the Guardian, it'll actually stop their attack. So let's just stop everyone's attack here. Whoa, okay. Okay, it can still blast us through all that stuff. Let's just shock it. And that will stasis it. That'll reveal its weak point meter, which should allow us to destroy it in a few hits until it decides to beam us again. So it's still on its last legs. And boom. Okay, so we still didn't defeat it entirely yet, but we did do a lot. So let's keep our special attack for very special occasions. Alright done we got this guy nice so through that door onto the great hall so we need to go to the great hall here so first we need to figure out where that door is so head for the escape point so first let's just go past this guy so how are we oh from the other side so I guess there is staircases everywhere. But the thing is that these boxes in here could contain some really good stuff. What's in here? Uh, so, ooh, a chest. Royal Guard's Claymore. That's pretty good. So now let's head up the stairs here. Now we'll go up this side. Around here. So let's break as many boxes as possible because, um, because we can get um, healing items from it and if we get hit by fire the healing items will hit times two so we found another Korok kind of strange but um let's just continue up here and around okay oh no the guardians at the docks have activated oh no Alright, so let's go do that, let's break that, break those boxes, so there is a lot of enemies here, so let's just go around here, break those, all those guys have spears, so it could be very powerful, so we need to just go straight through them, using this attack, even though it's not really a an attack it's basically just like a thing that helps you that helps you speed up a little bit oh no it's a guardian scout one of those things that you find in the shrines it's a guardian scout one even though it's just the model one it's still powerful Ooh, maybe it can give us an ancient sword or something cool Alright, nice. Alright, nice. So I don't think that Guardian Scout is going to last long with that weak point smash. So I think the Princess is a really good character to bring on this mission. Especially since she's using rune related stuff. And the runes are really, really good against, against all these... Uh, guardians because uh, I think ancient and ancient um do the most do the best damage so let's see any places that anything here so it seems like there is some secret areas over here ooh look all 
Alright, so it seems like there is something over there. Ooh, what's in here? Doesn't seem like anything, but um, let's go into this other secret room. These other areas, because they're shown on the map here. Ooh, Korok. Ooh, and healing items. And then it seems like this room is empty. Okay, so we we gotta break that box. Let's see. Okay, so we need to go to the set location here. So let's just defeat all of these things here, including that ice wardrobe thing. Let's shock it. All right, so we need to defeat it. Alright, so now we can get the weak point smash and obtain its icy power. Alright, so we got three chests. So why can't we pick the... Oh! Okay, so we need a fire rod. So those things are just going to be there as decoration, I guess. Until we need it, and then it'll, I guess it'll just come to our rod. Alright, so now we'll just defeat this fire moblin really quickly. Here so that we can so that we can get some critical damage on him. That we can flurry rush. Alright, so now we can use our ancient attacks versus this guy, even though it's not ice, it still will do a lot of damage. So we can Flurry rush him when he doesn't do that fire attack. Ooh, okay, nice. So our healing items are now set to it's are now fire eyes, I guess. Okay, so we can definitely flurry rush him on the moments that he's just using his sword. Alright, nice. So we didn't even So we didn't even realize and we already flurry rushed him. Alright, so now we just need that one little attack. Boom. Not exactly little, but it does help a lot. So we do have fire, so I guess we'll just head to the skate point here. Ooh. Ooh, a Korok. Okay, so let's see if there's any other secret areas here. Because, um, we could possibly get more Korok stuff, but the thing is, that I don't really think there is anything that we really need here. So, let's just go see. Uh oh. A white main lineal. Those things are powerful, aren't they? No, I think a gold lineal is the strongest. But, um, white main lineals are still pretty strong, I think. So let's just get out of its fire range. Boom, okay, so. Now let's just make sure that it doesn't harm us like a lot. So, first, let's just. Do this. No, no, no. Not on the Boko Lins. Only on the Lineal. Alright, so now we can do the special attack thing that will completely demolish its health bar. Thing is that even though I think it's still strong. Whoa, okay. Three and a half hearts for one attack. Definitely, we are pretty much toast in, on this level. Alright, so we just need to use the ice rod efficiently so that we can unlock his weak point meter. Oh no. Oh no. We can't switch. 
this guy seems like it's gonna use your entire health bar to defeat him. And since we don't have many characters, this is gonna be a definite hard one. Alright, so we barely got one weak point smash unlocked on this guy. And even Link and Impa are fighting this guy. What? One weak point smash did that much damage? Literally, that wasn't even anything. Oh, okay, this is a really good one. This is charge, charge, yes! Alright, so, this guy has a lot of power, but it seems that he can harm you very powerfully. So, basically, this guy is going to just, it, oh, okay, nice. So, it seems like Impa or something, or someone uh, broke a box or something, and I guess it, I guess it registered to us as healing items. Alright, so we need to wait. Okay, so I don't have Cryonis, so this guy's basically, um, very powerful. This seems like one of the strongest guys in the entire game. So, bombs don't really help much, but it does break down his weak point meter a lot. So we do need to get out of his way so that he doesn't harm us. So if we're just like a few steps ahead of him, we should be okay, but when he gets that cryonis thing, he does he does go in a bit of a charge towards you, so Alright, nice. So we got another weak point smash and I'm pretty sure that we can use our special attack right now. Because it's still pretty powerful and right now that he's weak. We can definitely destroy his health bar. And also, it seems like he didn't really take much damage at all. So we need to... No, he shoots flames at us, so I should probably be a better one. Alright, so why did his meter just disappear? So we actually need to, like, take cover from this guy for a second. So it's actually exploding right in front of the door, so we can just hide up here and there it goes his super fiery power which hit the Boko lens, which is surprising that that even did damage on them. Because um, I thought only characters could do damage on other enemies. I didn't know that enemies could deal damage to their other enemies. So he's on his last little bit of health. Even though he wants to hold on to it forever. Um, we're going to just complete that health bar so that we can get this guy done with. So, Ooh, one more stasis power. But we do need health. So, oh, okay, perfect. We can finish him off so good on this one. It's gonna be a weak point smash plus stasis attack. This is gonna be such a good one. Oh, okay. This is a great grand finale for that guy. All right. So since our HUD didn't disappear yet, um, that means we're probably gonna have to fight something else. A large number of guardians has appeared within the castle. Oh, great. All right. So the exit is where? Escape from Hyrule Castle. Wait, hold on. Where is it? So it seems like it's all the way over there, but how come? Oh, so there's secret passageways everywhere. Wow, this part of the castle I've actually never seen. Okay, so our our HUD disappeared, so that means the that means our round is complete. So Let's see what's going to happen here. It's probably going to give us results or a cutscene.
Now! You are the knight to Princess Zelda. <gasps> I trust that you understand your duty. Alright guys, well that was a pretty crazy cutscene and I guess Rome has turned into his spirit form once again. So guys, this is basically where Breath of the Wild starts. Basically right here at the end of this cutscene is exactly where it starts I believe. So right around here somewhere in the game, the story of Breath of the Wild will begin. But anyway guys, we did get a ton of rupees and we did level up the princess to level 36. We did get a bunch of ancient power boost parts. I wonder if there's something better than ancient power boost. So um, if we can actually um, do a bunch of stuff with all these items and link out of royal guards claymore, we'll keep that. And, um, we did get a rupee stat and sapphire, and then we did get a bunch of different stuff, including ancient parts. So we did get a lineal trophy, and we got a bunch of other trophies. We didn't get, um, another trophy that we need, known as the, known as, um, a Hynix trophy, because we need that one for, uh, for a quest or something. But um, anyway, let's go next and see what's happening. something. Come on!
Alright guys, well that was a pretty interesting mission, but guys, it seems like that Guardian has done something to time in the realm of Hyrule, but guys, it seems like we have unlocked a few new missions, it, okay, so it says Mifa, Daruk, Urbosa, and Rivali are trapped in the Divine Beasts, so it seems like the Guardian has done something to time in, in Hyrule, so... It seems like it's actually frozen time in some sort of really strange way. But, um, let's see what our next mission is. So, we're already at Chapter 5. So, Calamity Strikes was our mission that we just did. Water and Fire, and then Air and Lightning. So, guys, it seems like our missions are ready to go. So, it seems like we're going to do this one next. Water and Fire. It is gonna be our next mission here so um in our next video we will get ready and we will fight this battle but first let's go over to the Hylian blacksmith and fuse some weapons so it seems like we're down to only four characters again not again but um it's but we basically have the same amount of characters we did in the beginning so we have um Link, Impa, Zelda, and Hez2. So we don't really have too many characters, but for right now, let's just fuse a ton of ancient parts here so that we can uh, get as much power as we can possibly get out of this thing. So, hold on. Ancient overclock units. What? Just when I thought the Shigex Lake couldn't get better. This thing looks powerful. Starts at 31. Let's equip that instead. So let's equip the ancient overclock unit first. Okay, so let's equip it using X. So 31. So if we fuse it with this, how much will it give us? So the ancient power boost will be set 38. Actually, it'll turn into 49, so that's pretty good. So first, let's finish. So let's fuse the weaker ones with it first. And then finally, we'll fuse the strongest one with it. So ancient overclock unit. So this thing looks pretty strong. I'm not even going to um, really do too much with the um, old power boost thing because this thing seems like it does more power than other ones so this says a device incorporating a miniature guidance stone that greatly increases the Sheikah Slate's output however the only cell that can use it to its full potential so basically this is as powerful as Sheikah Slate gets so this seems like the strongest thing that we could possibly get for the Sheikah Slate right now versus this one only gives it extra rune power so um this thing does look cooler but it is stronger so let's equip that so 49 boom whoa okay so it's already a level 10 with barely a bit of xp left so link let's see so we do have a nice halberd have a traveler's claymore i don't think we need a traveler's claymore anymore because um we do probably want to fuse as many things into the master sword as possible so one cool thing is that you can actually see the item that you're hold that you're trying to add to the thing by pressing r and you can also see the master sword's power after you add those items so so level three i don't like this Lizal boomerang i don't think we really need it knight's broadsword soldier's broadsword so i think we're gonna go with the soldier's broadsword because the knight's broadsword looks much cooler so let's do that so sword of the seals of darkness is now powered up but um, we do have rusty weapons, so let's see if we can unlock something. So what's this? From trusty to rusty, the blacksmith guild is searching for a way to restore rusty weapons in a jiffy. 
Does the secret lie with a monster that spits out weapons like new? Get parts from them to aid the research. Gain ability to de-rust weapons. Huh. Hold on. An Octorok Eye and Octorok Balloons with Octorok Trophies and Octorok Tech Tentacles. So it seems like the Octorok is actually able to de-rust weapons. So I don't know. I'm probably going to try that one. Try that trick out of Breath of the Wild. Maybe I'll do a video on it. So I wonder if it really works. But anyway, guys, that will basically end this video today. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll never miss out on another video on Editor. So guys, let's get ready for our next mission in our next video. But real quick, I've noticed this mission right here that we've unlocked today. It says Zelda. Special attack gauge plus one. Remember what happened to Hez 2 when we did that one? So, let's see, so Hez 2 does have that, so he does have two special attack meters. So basically, it's like you can do one special attack after the other, and then you'll completely destroy the enemy's health bar. But anyway guys, that will end this video. So, we'll see you next time on It Is Well, but before we end it, this game does autosave. But um, I recommend you guys that if you don't want to lose your progress and you're just changing stuff on this map screen like adding power to your characters and stuff, I recommend you to press save every now and then so that you don't lose your progress. So anyway guys, see you next time.